Now, have a look at this example. If 39% of 4,500 total students in the college are male, how many students are male? And then afterwards, we're going to ask how many are female, of course. And also, what percentage would that be? We'll do that afterwards. So first of all, figure out how many are male. 39% of 4,500 total students in the college are male. How many is that? How many are male? So by all means, press pause and do this whole thing yourself. See what you come up with. <coughs> so please press pause and do it yourself and see what you come up with. Okay, I hope you've tried it. I'm going to do it pretty quickly now. I need to calculate 39% of 4500. Now 39% needs to be turned into a decimal. Of means multiply. As a decimal I need to take this decimal point and move it one, two spaces to the left to get 0 0.39 or 0 0.39 times 4500. So multiply that. 9 times 0 is 0, 9 times 0 is 0, 9 fives is 45. I hope you press pause and try this. I'm just doing it quickly now to make sure you, to show you, see if you got the same answer. 9 fours is 36, and 4 is 40, I think. So put down a placeholder, 0. 3 zeros is 0, 3 zeros is 0, 3 fives is 15, carry the 1. 3 fours is 12, and 1 is 16. And 0 times all of this is 0, so we don't need that. And we get 0, 0, 5, 5, 10, carry the 1, 20. Let's have a look at this one. A bottle of beer is 5% alcohol. If the bottle is found to contain 0 0.6 ounces of pure alcohol, how many ounces total does the bottle contain? Press pause and see if you can figure this one out. Okay, <coughs> so here's the bottle of beer. I'm not going to show you what's written on it, so you don't know how big it is. Well, you might guess. <coughs> but this is what we have to figure out. You know the beer contains 5% alcohol. You know that the 5% alcohol is 0 0.6 ounces of the total amount of liquid in the drink. Okay? So... What, what we're trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is, look, here's the bottle of beer, right? Here it is. Um, and if we, if we kind of draw it here, like... Basically, if, if you were... Basically, imagine that this amount down here is pure alcohol, okay? which is 5% of the total amount, which is um, also 0 0.6 ounces, okay? So how many ounces in the total? What is the total amount of ounces is the question. What's the total amount of ounces? So how can we set up an equation or set up some way to solve this? Any idea? Well, you might think of what we practiced earlier. 5% of what number, or how many ounces? 5% of what is 0 0.6 ounces? I mean, that's what we're trying to figure out, right? If I took 5% of the total if I took 5% of the total amount in the bottle, I would get 0 0.6 ounces. So the, it's, it's a, so the question is, 5% of what is going to give me 0 0.6 ounces, right? Or what number? So we'll turn this sentence into an equation and then see what we come up with. So write 5% as a decimal, first of all. 5% as a decimal is... Thank you. 
Now the decimal point is here, so I'll move it one, two spaces to the left and stick in a zero, right? So point zero five or zero point zero five of multiply of means multiply of what? How or what number? Why do you turn that into something? What do we have that be? How about n? That's the missing number, right? Is equals and 0 0.6, 0 0.6, okay? So I have 0.5% of what is 0 0.6? And then just solve that. By all means, press pause and solve it from here if you want. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do it now slowly, I guess. Let's give you a chance. So n has been multiplied by this, so I need to divide it by that, don't I? To get n by itself. That's what we learned with the equation section. And 0 0.05s cross cancel, I end up with n equals this over this. So I need to go um, 0 0.05 into 0 0.6 but I can't divide a decimal into something. So I need to move the decimal point two spaces over so that this becomes a whole number five into something. But of course I need to divide to put this guy one two spaces over which will give me a placeholder zero and turn this number into sixty. Now what's five into sixty? Well five into six goes once remainder one five into ten goes twice so n equals 1, 2. What does n represent? 5% of what is 0 0.6? A bottle of beer is 5% alcohol. If the bottle is found to contain 0 0.6 ounces of pure alcohol, how many ounces does the bottle contain? How many ounces? The answer is 12 ounces. And yes, indeed, it is a... If you look really closely, anyway, 12 ounce bottle of beer, well, you might know that already. Anyway, okay, let's have a look at this example. Example 6, defective parts. In a shipment of car parts, 2% are known to be defective. If 8 parts are found to be defective, how many parts are in the shipment? Interesting. Please press pause and try to figure this out yourself. And um, even if you don't figure it out, that doesn't matter. It's still worth trying to think about it now and then taking notes on the video because it, it'll help you. Then it'll you'll have may hopefully you'll have an aha moment. You'll be like, ah, now I see. But if you just follow take notes of the video and just try to remember what was done, you know, it's it's better to, to struggle with it at least a little bit and then and then watch the video okay so please press pause and struggle with it then I'll walk through it slowly okay okay and even if you wrote if, if you haven't done if you're still uh, haven't figured it out I would suggest writing this whole thing out writing this whole thing out okay so have you written it out press pause and write it out and try it again press pause write it out and try it try it again okay Okay, so I hope you've given it a, your best shot, you've written it out, you've tried it, and you may not have figured it out, that's okay. But at least you've tried it, and that's important to give your brain that chance to think about it. Okay, so a shipment of car parts, 2% are known to be defective. And look at this sentence. If 8 parts are found to be defective, how many parts are in the shipment? So isn't that weird? What we have is a box of parts, okay? There are some of these parts are defective. Not all of them. Most of them are not, of course. Defective parts represent 2% of the total amount, which is not very many. Or 8 parts, okay? The number eight. Um, Non-defective parts, parts that work, represent the majority. Of course, the working parts, or non-defective, 
or functional would be 98%, right? Because 2% are defective, 98% or not, and we don't know what that number is, what the 98% is, right? Anyway, what I'm trying to do is get you to think about it, to understand that, look, 2% of what total number is 8? I mean, that's what we're trying to figure out. 2% of what number, basically, is 8? That's what we're trying to figure out, right? Because the 2% is the 8 parts. That is the 2%. Well, so what's, what's uh, we got to figure out, well, uh, we, we want the, the total, not just the working amount, but we want actually the, the total amount, right? Sorry, a little bit confusing. Sorry, two percent of what number is eight? So turn two percent into a decimal. What do you get? As a decimal, the decimal point needs to go one, two spaces to the right. So we'll get point zero two or zero point zero two. Okay. And again, 2%, remember, is 2 per 100, 2 over 100. 2 hundredths is 0 0.02. Of means multiply, so we've got to multiply by what number? How can you represent that? N, right, is 8, is equals 8 8. So I have 0 0.02 times n equals 8. How do I solve that equation? Undo multiplying by 0 0.02. How do you undo that? You gotta divide by 0 0.02 on both sides, right? So these guys cross cancel. I end up with n equals 8 over 0 0.02. Now, I want to figure this out so I need to go ahead and divide that so I need to go 0 0.02 into 8 but I can't divide a decimal into something so I must turn that into a whole number which means the decimal point needs to stop over here making that a 2 and of course this decimal point needs to go one two spaces over so I'll put in two zeros for a placeholder so it's 2 into 800 what does that give? 2 into 8 goes 4 times, 2 into 0 goes 0 times, 2 into 0 goes 0 times. n equals 400. Interesting. So we we asked 2% of what number is 8, and we found that the what number n is 400. So we figured out that 2% of 400 is 8. So the question was, how many parts are in the shipment? 400 parts. So the total amount of parts is 400 okay so the, the total parts is uh, 400 parts of which 8 are defective and just as an aside in case you're ever asked something like this just so we understand the working amount of parts then would be 98 percent right because they add to 100 and the amount of parts that work would be 392 because 392 and 8 makes the 400 but that's just uh, just for fun but this is what we needed was 400 parts are in the shipment okay